Wabashim Yawasha, Bashim Makakwadash, double honored city apostles and elders of the Church of Great Millstone. Shalom warm to all you sincere Akim, you brothers out there, proud in the true name and the true doctrine. About the times we're in the head of for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is Brother Kodash Paya. And you can see here on the Wall Street Journal, one of the articles of many stating the New York City Mayor Eric Adams to convert first paycheck to cryptocurrency. All right, it says Mayor says he will move the money into Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know, and... um. You know, I believe the, the 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 value of Bitcoin is is, is devaluing. You know, in uh, America, you know, there's talks of them, you know, attacking um, other countries' economies. You know, their their central bank systems, right? One of them is like Russia. You know, because they're trying to get this uh, as a as a they're trying to make this as a snare upon the earth, and I'm gonna get that in the scriptures. You know. Because this is leading to a uh, a one world uh, currency, you know that they're trying to propose, you know, with everything going digital, all right. And I believe they want New York to be one of the first states, you know, to promote this, right? New York is the center of the world. So it's called World Trade Center. The building it says, and we want it to be the center of cryptocurrency and other financial innovations. And Amer- uh, uh, New York is like the capital of Babylon, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. You know, said Mr. Adams, who was sworn in as the city's new mayor earlier this month. Be, pardon me, being on the front, forefront of such innovation will help us seek uh, so like help us create jobs, improve our economy, and continue to be a a magnet for talent from all over the globe. Because America, you know, New York primarily is a uh, a tourist site, you know, from all over the country, all over the world. And so America is is like that 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 you know everybody in these other countries. At one point, you know, looked at America as, you know, the 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 spotlight, the 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 glare, you know, whatever they do, you know, everybody else does, you know what I mean? And you know, don't be fooled. I mean, this is why you have a lot of, um, this is why you have a lot of uh, cyber attacks, you know, shutting down. Uh, internet system shutting down because this is that's a, a war tactic, you know. That's definitely a war tactic, man. Right. So uh, let's get another. Let's get some. It says a uh, Bitcoin crashes to five month low as Russia proposes crypto ban. You know. So right now this you know showing the face of Putin being against that. You know, hey man, we'll see what happens. And then you have Elon Musk. Neuralink is hiring a clinical trial director as it moves towards testing chip implants in humans. And this was just updated January 20, 2022, two days ago. You know, so hey man, things are, are, are speeding up as far as these two major prophecies, you know. World War Three and pursuing the Revelation 13. Now you have Fed study on digital currency lends to a role for banks. You know, you know America, man. They 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 like putting their banks in other places. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta definitely uh, pay attention to that. You know, plan to tag as many people. As possible under guess of the C uh, blank revealed new cryptocurrency system controlled by the you know who. You know, these elites, man. That's the main goal here. You know? At the end of the day. Right? Because once uh, 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 Yahweh Shah is not going to come back 
until what? The hour of temptation is upon the globe. And then World War III, he's going to come in the midst of that. You know? So I want to bring the scripture out in the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 34. It says, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so we're not over drunken mm -hmm. and, and, and of, of the cares of this life, man. You know, we want to get out of here, like yesterday. You know, like when the uh, disciples went up to Yahawashah in the book of St. Matthew, the 24th chapter in the first verse. How they asked when sh when is going to be the end of the world, basically. You know, because they were hasting in, in, in the time for the kingdom of heaven to be established. Everlasting, everlasting lasting peace, man. Joy. Your people not, you know, killing each other. No more being in slavery. No more worrying about subjection to payments. Right? So, you know, not worrying about your enemy ruling over. These elites. You know? So, we're at the end, man. We're, we're at the very fucking end, you know, and part of my Swahili as Apostle of Amla say, but, you know, it's, it's, you know, everything is manifesting, as the scriptures say, you know, and the men of the Lord is going to be revealed more so, you know, and as things turn up, the Lord is turning everything up, you know what I mean? And drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare, a snare is what? A trap. You know, when you put a snare, when you put, a, you know, traps in the woods, people, who you know, go through there, they get caught. You know what I'm saying? For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So it's these are traps unto people, you know, pushing them to a corner. Oh, well. If you don't get the gem shot, which we know that's just a scapegoat, you know, it, it's all going to lead to a, a device that's going to be inserted in people for a new way of living soon, in the hand or their forehead. So it's a trap. Oh, you can't pay rent. It's a trap to where you can't pay car insurance. It's a trap to where you can't buy or sell or eat or pay or, 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 or get medical attention care or, you know, travel from one state to another. Literally, all liberties is going to be out the window. You see? For as a snare, as a trap, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. And you seeing people, you know, their true colors and how they're reacting because the majority are not seeing the bigger picture prophetically. And, you know, they're going to get caught with their hands in their pants, you know, not knowing whence it comes from, you know, and... They're losing faith. They're losing hope. People are going to sell out to this world because they are their children and because of their jobs. And you've seen that now. And right now, like the scriptures say, it's only the beginning of sorrows. But that beginning of sorrows is about to be, the, the flare is about to turn up to a wildfire, bro. You know, we don't got much longer here, man. Especially hearing about these last climaxes coming to pass, these last prophecies. Right? Right? So it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always. These are the things we're watching for. Famine. I think inflation is leading to hyperinflation to what? A complete crash of the dollar. You know? People, the shelves are, are being empty from state to state. Now is February, tw uh, January 22nd where New laws and regulations and mandates is hitting Canada. You know, people are scared over there, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this is, <laughs> you know, hey, man. Uh, it's a global thing, right? That's how you know how severe it really is. That it says, watch ye therefore and pray always. We're hearing about wars and rumors of wars, famines, pestilences. Earthquakes in diverse places. You know? We're hearing about these things come to pass. The uproars of the people. You know? Neighbors uh, are invading neighbors. Watch ye therefore and pray always. And that's why you got to pray into the true name, man. Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know? You can't just pray to any name. You got to believe. Sincerity. Your truth and fear. 
you know, and do his will until he comes back to the best of your ability. So what? So it says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. You know, so you want to be found worthy to be able to escape. Because the only, the only way you can have mercy is if Yahweh Shai is supping with you through the Spirit. You know, because when Yahweh Shai used Moses to take us out of Egypt, we was in the wilderness. A lot of people wanted to go back because they lacked faith. They were comfortable living in Egypt. You know, they were comfortable there. Just like now, people are comfortable. Like it tells you in Isaiah, uh, uh, Matthew chapter 24, same Matthew chapter 24, verse 30, I believe 30, around about the 36, 37 verse. You know, as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. As they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in the marriage, you know, those people knew not till the flood came. You know, and they were taken all away, man. You know, and those, the modern day ark is being built now. And those modern day arcs is coming, you know, as far as the chariots. When Yahweh shall come back with the holy angels to redeem us out of all this hell that's about to come upon the face of the earth before the second coming of Yahweh Shah to destroy completely Babylon the Great, aka America, you know, and um, have World War Three spew up because you've seen these other countries gearing up in the Middle East. You're hearing about these crypt, you know. New digital uh, currencies. So what? That's why I says watch ye always. Watch and pray, man. You know that you may be found worthy to escape. And these people think they just can escape by stocking and you know just going into bunkers and nah, man. It's about having faith in the Lord because we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know where we're gonna be. You know. Yahweh Shah fed the multitude. You know, uh, the Lord, Yahweh, uh, you know, Yahweh fed Elijah in the wilderness. You know, scriptures speak about in the book of St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, he feeds the birds, what more us? Come on, man. So that's what's going to save us. You know, faith and fear under the Lord, you know, and cont continually praying unto him. You know, begging him, please, 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 Babakushai, you know, have mercy on me and my brothers. You know, from the apostles on down to the brothers that's prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth. Have mercy on them, guide them, and show, and, and, and you know, uplift them, you know, so people can know, all right, these are, yes, <laughs> we messed up. That's why the scripture says, then shall they know that a prophet was among them. You know, because there's going to be spiritual intervention coming, man, as well. You know, to where the Lord's going to bless certain men, uh, whoever he sees fit, to, to have these spiritual abilities to, to do certain things, healing and, you know, on top of that, you know, whatever. You know? Because at the end of the day, man, we're going to take this kingdom, which is right, rightfully so, man. And, and the Lord's going to send us back into our homeland. Which is Israel. And he's going to destroy that land too. You know, out them gutter rats out of there, man. You know, the Lord is about to send a cleansing process with fire. And those that take that, that, that mark, man, is going to be accounted, accounted worthy to, to be burnt up. Instead of being accounted worthy to escape. So let that, you know, hey, man, we all got to have that fear in us. You know? Get on your knees and pray, man. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. With that, shalom.